just some more results. So as I told you at the beginning, uh, the project aims to, to, to analyze the impact of financialization on social representations and practices um, in these two phases of the financialization of housing in Portugal and also the pandemic, but also to, to, to see the psychosocial impacts and political impl implications of housing inequality that is going to lead us to this, dis this discussion that we are having. We are also trying to understand what solutions do, do the people can have and how they feel and the, they, they feel this, this kind of housing inequality. So the project has all these uh, different methodologies uh, as we, you will learn, L, or we have already shown uh, some <laughs> results from that document. We have uh, published, we are publishing results from uh, previous question, questionnaires. We also made analysis of semi-structured uh, interviews that were done in the two different periods that analyzed the impacts of the of the mortgage phase when uh, persons um, acquired housing through mortgage to, to become homeowners and then after the financial crisis uh, we had then we then focus groups with different stakeholders with different positions we are still have data to analyze and we are going in the next phase to finalize the project we are going to do a questionnaire to try to, to but what I'm going to present here very briefly we also conducted um, a review of the literature to try to capture um, social representations as every we have seen in, uh, there is a lot of data statistics but uh, there is few information about what people say, uh, persons say about things. So we try to capture that uh, uh, in the framework of social representations, even though the studies may not refer social representations. We try to look um, to studies that mention the discourses, the opinions of the, the narratives of the persons. Uh, because spoken reviews uh, are techniques to uh, we define some. Some uh, we have uh, published the protocol. It's a protocol of the scoping review. It's it's you can it's uh, open access. You can see we defa we develop objectives and um, a scoping uh, search strategy with uh, keywords, main keywords and secondary keywords to capture financialization, housing, social representations and practices. And we conducted that anal analysis in several databases. We achieved a total of uh, more than 7,000 uh, titles that uh, um, in some way had these words, but uh, uh, following all the criteria of inclusion and inclusion that you can uh, search in the protocol, uh, we uh, reached to uh, 272 uh, articles um, that somehow uh, express these relations, um, social representations related to housing in, uh, in uh, uh, concerning uh, financial uh, questions. Uh, as you can see by this graph, it's the, the, the years of the publication. It's a, grow, it's a growing uh, it's a growing problem. So it's 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 showing in the liter scientific literature um, because the, it was restricted to, to scientific publications. Um, main main publications are articles, as we can see here, uh, as because we are looking for social representations. Um, main, uh, the studies are mainly uh, quali qualitative or mixed method, method approach, so are the best way to get sure. uh, individual dis discourses. Uh, this is, uh, we have uh, here the, the main, we have a limitation of only uh, English and Portuguese language of the publication, so um, it is why Portugal is so, so high. <laughs> and, and Brazil in, uh, and is not so so expressive other uh, countries with other language because we didn't uh, we didn't search but uh, 
the main countries of the financialization of housing are there. <laughs> so we can see here is a, a, a representation of, of the major themes about uh, uh, by analyzing the, the keywords of the of the articles. I'm going just to 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 uh, make some ideas to so we can continue our dialogue in this afternoon. So we can see here major the questions about home ownership. Uh, through mortgage, a financialization way uh, of getting a property, and the questions about the rental market, hard to opposing, uh, as you see here, in upper and down. And we also have here, perhaps uh, Tiago, communication is, uh, we have uh, also several articles that refer the impact of financialization on, on uh, low-income housing, um, um, some uh, undeveloped and uh, low-quality housing, but how financialization interests uh, and how that land is uh, uh, good land for <laughs> profits. So several policies of, of urban planning to, uh, tend to, to put those persons, to evict those persons to other areas. Uh, with developing housing, but because especially when those lands are uh, good for profit. Uh, and that is also associated with some articles that refer social movements that also, uh, not only as, uh, uh, no, 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 it's more smaller, uh, but it's, <laughs> it's smaller, but it's also uh, social movements have appeared very much also with the financial crisis, but also uh, with these kinds of um, eviction of uh, uh, um, populations with uh, that don't have power, economic power, no, no influence. So uh, we have here this. And just to finish, I would like to to talk about about a little bit of the relation about the social representations and practices concerning the options of families. Uh, here, uh, the question about to buy a house, uh, m most of the families don't have the, the possibility to buy a house simply with uh, their savings, so they must uh, make uh, uh, um, a loan, uh, make a, have a mortgage, uh, and to rent, to have a house with uh, <laughs> the, the, the rentals of the bank or uh, uh, the rental uh, in the private market. And here, uh, as uh, was already uh, told, uh, fin uh, the financial crisis was uh, uh, very important. Uh, here, there is very differences. Be uh, there are def different differences between countries, uh, the, the last uh, European countries. Uh, but if before the financial crisis, and for Portugal also, um, and in the first phase of the financial of financialization of housing. Uh, there was uh, several policies and several communication in the social media and between persons that normalized the idea of a debt because previously, before these subsidies for home ownership and for this idea of that uh, having a mortgage, mortgage is a good thing because you are going to, to, have, to be um, a homeowner, you are going to have something that is yours. Um, that was not so so frequent. Uh, so that was a, a, pro, a process in se uh, different in several countries. But that conducted to that uh, good perception, a, vo a positive representation of uh, uh, having a, a mortgage, because it was more converted to a more simple thing. It was a thing. It was easy to 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 have a, a, a mortgage. The banks loaned that easily. Um, there were there are there were uh, advertising. Uh, they refer there's some articles refer the importance of the family as families parents consider that it was a good thing to have a home, to to have a to be a, a homeowner. Families organize themselves to support the, their children that are going to uh, get a mortgage. So they they help them with the. the, the the first uh, the entrance of the, they help them afterwards paying the, the, the because they consider as in the families try to, to decide 
the housing solutions based on the safe, wise decision because it's important for their family. They want to to guarantee the, uh, the well-being of their household. So they try to to make these de decisions concerning what is the information that is propelled. Uh, so, in the other hand, rental housing uh, frequently or bad in bad conditions. Though, say in, say in Portugal, uh, for instance, there there is no no much regulation about housing conditions in the rental market. There are no mechanisms for 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 verifying the conditions of the rental housing. Um, what happened with the financial crisis? Here, precisely in Portugal, for instance, Spain, um, not only um, in a period the, the interest rates have increased, but also the house prices have down, uh, go down. So what happened was that many families have lost their houses uh, and maintained a debt. So that was a change in the, in the representation of rental market, they considered. Perhaps, if this can happen, if the, the interest rates can go up and that we can maintain a debt and become homeless <laughs> or without having to, to lose their home, we, perhaps it's best to, to rent and then uh, also uh, increase the, 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 the percentage of rentals. Uh, the, the support mechanism, the representations also can have a, a positive discourse saying that rental is also positive because we, you can have more mobility, you can change of house, if, you, if your, the house doesn't fit your necessities you, you can choose to another house. So it was a, a, a home ownership was not so, so adored <laughs> as in previous times, it became negative and uh, the, 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 the idea of being a wise decision to rental became in, increased and what happened next? <laughs> it happened that house prices came to financial crisis not only uh, here uh, the mortgage, uh, what happened, the banks try to increase their concerns about risk assessment <laughs> uh, considering uh, the conditions of families uh, low-income families get worse conditions or could not have their financial mortgage approved, so access through mortgage became more difficult. But also with the financial crisis, rental market, uh, the price of rents go up. And also, as we can see here, the idea of to buy to let, to buy houses to, to monetize, to, be, uh, to get uh, income, also increased. So what we had afterwards was when the families start to think, oh, it's, o it's okay, it's good to rent because we have that more mobility, prices of rents go up. And now we are <laughs> in the perfect storm <laughs> because we have not only um, high rents, as we have high interest rates. So none of the options it's possible for low-income families, families with no, with no uh, background, uh, economic background, and also the social housing does not exist enough. Uh, no, it's, we, we, even if the, all the houses that are pre, uh, previewed in the PRR uh, be, were built in the time, uh, they are not enough to guarantee housing for the families. So I think that coming back with uh, where Rita was, we can see here, these are some images of the, the signs that I found in Porto. I went there to, to see, and this is very important to understand that families want to make the best decisions for their households. Um, you, you, can, you have now the idea that Hannah was also talking about other families that are trying to do the best decisions for their households, but they, those decisions pass through monetizing housing at the highest uh, return possible. So, you, you, it's very important that we, that we understand what you, you do, we don't want to have a society that is a society that feels with no cope. That feels <laughs> so. I think what is it's important that everyone in society has a role 
and uh, that's what is important to take action now because nobody, not even the, the high capital will win if he, it has um, a society that has no hope. So I think it's very important and I thank you everyone to be here today. This discussion, this dialogue, I think it's very important so we can in fact convince that it's a, an important, it's about the people's lives, it's about feelings, it's about uh, um, Housing is a right, but it's not only a right. It's primarily, most of all, it's a necessity. It's a human being necessity. We can live without property, as we were told in, in the morning. But we cannot live healthily, as Claudio also said, without a proper home. So, thank you. Let's continue our discussion, our debate.